Why are demand assumptions and forecast layers important? In any demand consensus process, there are various planning stakeholders providing business intelligence and market insights. The challenges we have seen are multiple. They are either not captured systematically, just stored at the lower level and then lost when assortment and mixes change, or added as an overall forecast override, where it is impossible to understand who made the changes or why, without resorting to comments and notes. This becomes especially relevant in large organizations with hundreds of people working on the numbers. O9 brings in a framework to collect demand assumptions and forecast layers, which will provide a structured approach to organize the multiple inputs from various teams during a consensus process. Let's look at how to perform demand assumptions and forecast layers in the O9 platform. Demand assumptions can be managed by any role, such as sales, marketing, or demand planners. The master header contains all the information during the creation of some additional auto-populated fields, such as owner, create date, and status. The details input grid is where the demand volume assumptions can be entered and maintained. Demand assumptions can be created at aggregated levels, and this will create assumption lines for each unique intersection affected by that assumption. If the lower planning level mix or assortment changes, the overall volumes of each demand assumption are still respected and the lower levels are changed to consider the latest mix. This feature makes it easier for planners to create, manage and collaborate demand assumptions at any level of the hierarchy. These volume assumptions will be stored at the level specified, making it easier to create, manage and collaborate. The demand assumption feature includes two approval workflows. In workflow one, partners can initiate the demand assumption process. That means they can create a demand assumption and add volume to it. However, it is only the planner who can submit the created demand assumption to impact the consensus forecast. In workflow two, the demand planners can create and submit the demand assumption independently. This is a more simplified workflow. Here, you can see the copy, reject, cancel, and submit action buttons. And here, the demand assumption status and ownership information can be reviewed. With the forecast layers, you can organize the adjustments input to the consensus to maintain the traceability of the overall changes. For example, you could separate by role, sales, marketing, finance adjustments, or by type of adjustment, such as promotions, marketing events, pricing changes, competitor activity, new product introductions, or any changes in market share, and so on. These layers can be added to the system statistical forecast to make up the consensus forecast. With the online framework for demand assumptions and forecast layers, any organization, no matter how big or small, will be able to have a systematic way to start the context behind the numbers. Empowering your actions, from data to knowledge to decisions.